everybody um today i thought i would talk to you guys about the top 10 books i wouldn't read during 2023 and i have tried to choose books partially from different genres and or age categories uh but i've also tried to choose books that i've had on my tbr for a, a long time uh just try to motivate me to read them um but of course there's some newer books on here as well just because i really want to read them <laughs> um but yeah let's get to them so the first one which is like priority number one i'd say is the lost metal by brandon sanderson this is the fourth book in the Mistborn second era series which is also book seven in Mistborn series the first era um hope you keep up <laughs> um but basically this series people can ingest metals and the more metals you can ingest the more powerful you are and some people are mistborn meaning they can ingest a whole lot of uh, different metals but it's very unusual this um ability is very unusual there's like one mistborn person known uh and most people can just ingest like one possibly two metals and the majority can't even do that uh but it's a very interesting concept and i really really love it so i need to get this one because <laughs> it came out last year and i still haven't read it because i want to reread the first three books and um, they're really short so i really should just get to it so i can read this hunger i want to want to know what's gonna happen and then we have a historical fiction book by june her and that is the red palace which i have owned for a while <laughs> um like the beginning of 2022 when it came out in january and um i just need to read some historical fiction because it's been a while okay so basically this takes place in korea in 1758 and there's not a lot of work to be done by a illegitimate daughter um but our main character Hyun, she is 18 years old. She has managed to get this position as a nurse in the palace. Uh, but does, things doesn't really go according to plan. She is suddenly thrust into a, you know, political agenda. And a lot of twists and turns at the palace. She doesn't really know who to trust, who to rely on. And then in one night, a person ends up killing four women. And Hyun's friend is actually, you know, the suspect for these deeds. She's trying to help a friend. So yeah, it sounds really interesting and I still haven't read it, so I really do need to. And then we have Real Love Ingleside by Ella Montgomery. This is the one and only classic on this list, actually. Shameful, I know. But this is the eighth book in the series about uh, Anne of Green Gables. Um, I have read the other seven books and I just need to finish up the series because I don't know why I haven't. Uh, since I basically read the first five books back to back. Um, but in this one, you're supposed to follow Anne's children. And Willa is actually one of her... I think it's... she's. Uh, I think she was the youngest daughter. Uh, and, you know, her adventures and stuff like that. And I love Anne Green Gables so, so much. And I just need to finish the series. And then we have Leviathan Wakes by S.A. Corey. Which is a science fiction uh, series i've been wanting to start for a really long time so basically humans have um colonized the solar system we're on mars the moon and you know the asteroid belt and beyond but our main character jim holden finds himself in a position he could never have anticipated um and they also in position of a secret they never wanted and suddenly they are in danger and you know shit goes down so i think this is a very long series but it's supposed to be very well loved it's got re great reviews and i've been wanting to read this one for so long so i just need to get to it and then we have my imaginary mary by cynthia hand Birdie ashton and jody meadows this is the second book in the series they call Mary. In this one, we're supposed to follow the historical character of Mary Shelley. Uh, she's the author that wrote Frankenstein, for you guys who don't know. And this is sort of the Lady Janie's own take on Mary Shelley and, you know, how she ended up writing the novel of Frankenstein. Um, so I love their other series. I read all of the Lady Janie books and the previous one too this Mary series and yeah I just really want to see it because it's just a lot of banter usually there's a lot of magic or supernatural elements and 
the characters are always awesome. So I really want to read this one. But then we have a Spell Slinger by Sebastian de Castell. This is the first book in the series called Spell Slinger. This is a YA uh, fantasy novel. Uh, and basically we follow Kellen and he is moments away from doing his first mage duel. To start off his trials because he's 16 years old. Uh, there's only one problem and that is the fact that he has not manifested any magic. So, you know problems arise so this is also a very beloved series i believe it has great ratings so i just want to get to it because i've owned this book for a while now <laughs> and then the next one is jade city by fonda lee which is a series i've owned the first book for a while and i know a lot of people adore this series and i just need to read it because it has great ratings like most of the books on this list <laughs> Basically, the main character lives in a place that can produce a very rare magical jade and if you possess that jade, uh, it can, with the right training and heritage, give you superhuman abilities. And that's all I know, but I like superhuman abilities. <laughs> that's my jam! And then we have Bastille vs. the Evil Librarians by Brandon Sanderson and Jan C. Patterson. And this is the sixth and final book about Alcatraz vs. the Evil Librarians. Uh, but this one is supposed to be written uh, from Bastille's point of view, which we have not had before. Um, basically, in the first book we meet Alcatraz, he has just turned 13. Um, he is an orphan, so he's been moved from foster home to foster home. Um, on the eve of his 13th birthday, he gets this sort of mysterious package in the mail, which is basically a bag of sand. Uh, he then, after that, realizes that the Evil librarians have stolen this weird ass bag of sand. The next day, his, uh, this old man shows up at his door, uh, calling himself his grandfather. And from there on, adventure ensues and a lot of weird shit happens, but we all here for it and we love it. I really want to read this one because it's the last one and the fifth one ended with such a cliffhanger. And I've been waiting years for this book and I still haven't freaking read it and it drives me insane. So I just need to finish my reread of the first five books and then I can throw myself headfirst into this one. And then we have A Place Called Perfect by Helena Duggan. This is a middle grade fantasy. Uh, and basically we meet Violet and she moves to this place called Perfect where everyone has to wear glasses or they'll end up going blind. You always have to be neat and behave at all times. And Violet quickly realizes something is very weird in this town. She keeps hearing these weird noises in the night. Her mom is acting strange. Her dad has disappeared altogether. And she just has to go to the bottom of this. And I've heard great things about this. It's illustrated by Carl James Montford, which is one of my favorite illustrators at this point. Um, and my friend Jamie has been pestering me about reading this book several times. So I just need to get her on that. And then the very last book is A Pinch of Magic by Michelle Harrison. This is the first book in this series called A Pinch of Magic. In this one, we meet three sisters who basically go on a quest to break the curse that have haunted their family for generations. I know that everybody who loves middle grade will love this series and there's like three, four books out, I don't know. Uh, I'm behind, so I need to get onto it. Um, but yeah, those were all of the books I'm hoping to read for 2023. Um, Honestly, I have so many books I want to read, so many books I need to read for different like reading vlog projects I have. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed at this point, but I do know that making lists actually makes me want to read the books because, you know, I like checking things off of my lists and stuff like that, meaning books read. Uh, but yeah, please let me know down below if there's any of these books that I should prioritize, if there's anything I definitely should be reading first out of everything. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a nice day or evening and I hope we see each other in the next one. Bye!